So good morning guys, we're here at the Smart AI system of our fish farm, the La Trinidad Regional Fish Farm of the Bureau of Fishers and Aquatic Resources. And of course we'll be going to share to you our production for today or for this week. And these are some of the fry that were produced. Actually these are already two days here since we collected the eggs uh, last Wednesday. And for today, we have about 1.1 1 .1, uh, liters of eggs that were collected. And as for our sampling, there are about 80 to 90 eggs per milliliter. So, we are expecting to have about 80,000 to 90,000 eggs. And if we're going to have a hatching rate of about 80%, um, we're expecting to collect about 60 to 64,000 of fry. So, others are thinking that we're not actually collecting eggs, we're just collecting fry from the fish pond, but Actually, these are the eggs that were collected. So, if you can see the white eggs there, there. So, those eggs are already dead. So, those are the mortalities that we consider. So, we're expecting about um, 10 to 20 percent of those so the hatching rate is about 80 to 90 percent and we also have mortality of prime after hatching so we're going to show you some of the eggs that are spoiled or dead here at the stainless um, fry fruit so these are the first batch that were collected last Tuesday or Monday. And this is the first one. So we have four AI systems in this smart um, AI system uh, setup. So we're calling it smart because we have this Arduino maintaining our temperature to about 28 to 30 degrees Celsius um, which we told or which is the optimum range of temperature for the eggs to hatch and for the fry to survive. Of course we have lots of heaters here connected with this Arduino. So if the temperature already reaches to uh, about 30 degrees, the heaters will automatically turn off. And look at this one. This, this is the indicator for the heater. So if the temperature uh, reaches below 28 degrees, of course the heater, it's here. There. The heater will automatically turn on. So, this area is made for aeration system. In order for us not to put any aeration or perforated host here, so these are the aerators and we will try to improve that one. We're not putting aer aerators here because the perforated host um, makes it more um, dirty and also the fry will be going into the perforated host so some of them also die. Here are the production. And this AI system, this A smart AI system is also 
um, a rust or a recirculating aquaculture system since the water recirculates with it so we have here this is our three chambered um, filtration mechanical filtration and of course we have two IBC tanks here so the water from this tank will be moved is moved here on the blue tank then it will be used by the four AI units and of course the water here since it's flow through they will be collected by the tubs by the buckets so the orange pipe will bring the wastewater outside into the filtration system and we have a pump here hot force power pump it's a submersible one there and it will pump up the water automatically into the IBC tanks so this is our automation so we call it a smart AI system of the Latin Indian Regional Fish Farm and I'm proud to say that this is one of my designs for this system so hope that you can share this one and some of you guys can imitate or uh, have one of these in your own stations so that's all from now and see you later and of course god bless